Hi, my name is George Rivera. I'm a sales engineer and manager here at uh, ProcessControlExperts.com. Today we're here to talk about a Jumo Daikon Touch. It's a touch panel temperature controller and uh, the software that you use to configure the unit. It does pattern programming. It has uh, Ethernet capabilities for a web server. It can send emails and it can do uh, patterns and recipes. So it's a pretty powerful unit and worth uh, talking about. Uh, and in this particular case, I have a unit that is uh, going to go to a customer, and they were very gracious enough to let us talk about their application. It's a butcher and smokehouse in upstate New York called Fred the Butcher. And uh, let's uh, talk about first the, the uh, application that they have uh, configured here that I set up for them. So if you look, Right now there's an alarm condition, so that's one of the things you have, there's a lot of inputs and outputs, so uh, since there's nothing hooked up, it's giving me an alarm. Uh, this is the two channel model, so they can get two inputs. One is gonna be the oven temperature, and the other is gonna be their uh, core temperature of the meat. They're gonna have a meat thermometer. The uh, buttons down here allow you to uh, start the recipe and this one's kielbasa. They have uh, hot dogs and smoked turkey and other uh, up to 10 profiles that you can have. So you can operate it in manual if you um, click the uh, buttons here. Uh, first thing you have to do though is uh, there is a different levels of login so you would click you would log in the in the as in the instruction manual is uh, the default master code, which is nine two zero zero. Okay, so now you can see we're uh, logged in, and um, I can start the profile. You can make uh, some minor uh, changes if you wanted to, or just hit start. So now it's started. Uh, the first set point is uh, 60 degrees C, and uh, on the bottom, underneath, there's uh, four different relays that you can show the status of. They'll be grayed out or red, and you have uh, three or four keywords that you could use to describe the relay. You can advance to the next segment. You can stop the profile and uh, there's digital outputs if you want to have an alarm. Let me just uh, stop the profile so I could show you some other menus. There are uh, other uh, screens that you could use. We're going to be turning these off. They really don't need them. You can have just a local screen uh, for one channel and another for another channel. There's a recording screen where you can get a live trace of the pattern. And then there's a split screen. Uh, if you're not using the controller as a recipe pattern controller and you do have two channels, this is the screen that I would recommend. In their case, we're going to be uh, turning that off and they're just going to be using the, this initial screen. So let's uh, continue here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is establish a connection with the uh, device. So in this case, uh, it's already configured. If you click uh, new entry, you would be able to set up the unit. I'm just going to click the Make Connection button. I would recommend you pull the information off of the unit rather than configure it from scratch and download. So that's what I'm going to do here. All the information that's in the unit currently is being pulled in. And now we could start looking at the different menus. Uh, the, the core menus are going to be in this configuration level. You, the first few menus here, you're going to set up your inputs, your outputs, what type of control you want, if it's going to be a uh, cascade control or if it's going to be uh, just a standard PID controller. Uh, this unit can handle two, two independent loops, so you could uh, have two different control loops. Uh, in this case, we're using one loop to be the oven temperature. The other loop is going to be the meat core temperature. We're not really going to control to it uh, from, from what uh, they wanted me to set up for them. They just want to stop the program when the meat core temperature reaches a uh, predefined uh, temperature for the different recipes that they have. 
Then further down here, uh, there's a few other menus. Uh, you could use set up the clock. Uh, you can have the unit turn on and off depending on the date and time. Uh, there's uh, language and email and web server, all those capabilities. If, if you uh, bought the unit with those options, you could program them there. There's uh, also the key one here is the program administration. So there's 10 programs, different types of meets that they have. There's uh, different temperatures. There's uh, different relays that are going to be triggered uh, for, in their case, um, smoke. There's a damper. There's uh, steam that used uh, for generating humidity. So those options are going to be turned on and off. And then like here at the end, in this particular case, when it reaches 71.1 degrees uh, Celsius, the uh, program will uh, be ending. There are uh, another useful feature that it has is this ability to simulate the program. So you can see if your recipe isn't really what you imagined in your mind when you were setting it up. And you can also see at which points in time the different relays will be triggering down here at the, uh, at the bottom. And uh, lastly, there's a few other uh, miscellaneous menus that you can use to set up the unit. But that's the core of what you would be doing. And then when you're done uh, setting it up, you would download it to the device. Click there. And there's the, uh, the download going through. Although I didn't make any changes here, you get the uh, the idea that it's pretty simple to use, but I highly recommend using the software since there are so many menus in this more advanced Daikon Touch controller. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you uh, got some useful information out of it and a quick view. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to call me. I'm happy to help you, and uh, you can uh, uh, we can work back and forth with email on the uh, configuration that uh, once you purchase your unit.